Hello, I'm Sarah Forrester and this is my application for the Software Sustainability Institute 2022 Fellowship. So firstly, who am I? Well, I'm a postdoc from the University of York who started their bioinformatics journey when I did my PhD at the University of Liverpool in 2011 till 2015. In my PhD, I used different omic approaches to answer questions about the parasite Trypanosoma brucei. I've been at the University of York since 2016, and I've worked on a variety of different projects. I've also used a variety of different analysis methods, such as RNA-seq, performing GWAS, and assembling metagenomes. But the main commonality to them is that I have to rely heavily on our high-performance computing cluster at York to deliver reproducible and high-throughput analysis. Since my time at York, I've been increasingly involved in preparing teaching material and also leading bioinformatics school-based courses. So these have been predominantly R, Unix Shell, Python and Introductions to Genomics style courses. The specific courses I've been involved in delivering are shown on this slide. I'm also an accredited software carpentry instructor and I'm a member of the CloudSpan team. So this is a cloud-based computing and data analysis training project which was funded by the UK RI Innovation Fund. This is being led by the University of York and it's in collaboration with the Software Sustainability Institute Director and the SSI Fellow Member Emma Rand. This project aims to upskill big data skills in predominantly biologists via developing big data driven analysis using cloud compute and is dedicated to making all resources developed in line with fair practices. As part of this project, I'll be able to deliver materials developed from this fellowship alongside the three foundation and three advanced courses we're delivering over the next two years. I'm also the current organiser of the York Bioinformatics meetings, and I'm keen to promote good big data practices and facilitate cross-departmental conversations about coding. So who would be the audience of any training I'd be delivering? Well, any resources developed as a result of this fellowship will be suitable for people from different stages. So these could be people who are completely new to data analysis, or those who may have more experience but may need additional help or more confidence in order to make their work more reproducible and robust. So how would I use this fellowship? Well, I've split this into three key ways in which it could be used to develop the bioinformatics abilities in both York and UK wide. So the first would be to develop a metagenomics course. So as a software carpentry member, I'm aware of lessons currently in the Carpentries Incubator that are mid-development. One of these which I would like to roll out is a metagenomics course. So I'd like to use my knowledge of metagenomics to develop a course that is oriented towards whole metagenome-based analyses rather than 16S OTU-based methods and would be command line-based rather than GUI-based, which many of the metagenomics-based courses I've seen rely heavily on. As a member of the CloudSpan project, this could be delivered alongside the CloudSpan teaching courses and our current foundation course is based on the carpentry's infrastructure. And so lesson development wouldn't be a problem for me because I've already got experience in this. So the course itself would cover both short and long read sequencing technologies and the methods used to assemble these data sets. It would also teach about the metrics and software that can be used to quality check assemblies. It would also provide training on the taxonomy annotation methods used and would additionally be done using an Amazon Web Services based instance. There'd also be a strong focus on instilling fair principles, especially the reproducibility aspect, into attendees for their work following the course. Secondly, I'd like to develop shorter material which would cover useful aspects that people might need when they begin bioinformatics but might not necessarily have the knowledge of. So these would involve topics such as how to use Conda, using Snape Make, and how to use Git for version control. Lastly, I'd like to use the fellowship in order to develop the York Bioinformatics meetings. Pre-COVID, we had a membership of about 30 members. Since COVID, we have now split these meetings to be between in-person and Zoom meetings, but our membership has increased greatly, following more of a focus on encouraging less experienced members to join and by running more training-focused sessions alongside problem-based solving sessions. Ideally, we would want all of these meetings to be hybrid we don't currently have a good setup for a group of this size. So the money would also be used to put towards enhancing these meetings with some additional equipment, which would also make the meetings more inclusive. And finally, why me? 
While I have a good track record of delivering bioinformatics-based teaching material, and I'm also actively involved in bioinformatic communities already. I also have good connections which would enable me to successfully promote the training, such as the Northern Bioinformatics User Group. So this is a network that is designed to support and promote data science within universities in the north of England, and it's keen to facilitate training for and by its members. As previously mentioned, I would also be using my role in CloudSpan to also promote material. And lastly, I would like to be a Software Sustainability Institute Fellow because the community aligns with my values and I would like to be part of a greater community trying to improve data-driven science in the UK.